calls, right? But at the same time, <laughs> it's real love. Ain't no fake love, right? Right. But, but at the same time, I'm planning on getting my freedom pretty soon. So I got some working on mm -hmm. to do. So I'm going to get back on these bars and do my thing. So I'm probably the yeah. only mother in the world to be calling from prison and tell Cat Williams, I'll get at him later. <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, Sugar Knight, the infamous music mogul, is expected to be released from prison soon. Now, this isn't just some random rumor floating around. This bombshell was dropped by none other than comedian Cat Williams on the latest episode of the Collect Call podcast. Williams, who's known for his sharp wit and unfiltered commentary, didn't stop at that. He also addressed rapper Ludacris's recent viral interview and threw some scathing bars his way. Accusations, hidden truths, and even a mention of the Illuminati. It was all there, folks. But let's circle back to the main highlight. Shug Knight, a name that's been synonymous with the hip-hop industry for decades, might be stepping out of the prison gates sooner than we thought. This is the man who's seen the rise and fall of some of the biggest names in hip-hop. A man who's shared admiration for the legendary Tupac Shakur with Williams. The anticipation of his release has already started creating ripples in the hip-hop community. Artists, producers, fans, everyone's eyes are now on what might happen next. This news has sent shockwaves through the industry, leaving fans and critics alike waiting for the next move. Let's delve deeper into the life of Suge Knight, the man who once sat atop the world of hip-hop. Marion Suge Knight, the co-founder of Death Row Records, is a figure who needs no introduction in the hip-hop world. His influence on the industry is undeniable, having played a pivotal role in the careers of artists such as Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and the legendary Tupac Shakur. Knight's journey, however, is not one of unblemished success. For every pinnacle, there's been a pitfall. His reign at the top was cut short by a series of legal issues that led to his incarceration. The crimes he committed, ranging from assault to hit and run, painted a picture of a man whose life was steeped in controversy. His actions not only impacted his personal life, but also sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community. Despite the chaos, Knight's influence on the industry remained. His grit and tenacity, mirrored in the music he helped create, resonate with many. However, his actions also served as a stark reminder of the darker side of fame and success, a side that can lead even the mightiest to fall. Knight's incarceration was a significant event in the hip-hop world. His absence from the scene left a void that was felt by many, Yet his influence was so profound that his spirit seemed to permeate the industry, even from behind bars. His legacy, controversial as it may be, continues to impact the genre to this day. And now the news of his impending release has sent ripples through the community. What does this mean for the industry? Will he return to his former glory? Or has his time behind bars changed him? Only time will tell. As a man of controversy, Sugar Knight's release is sure to stir the pot in the world of hip-hop. The revelation of Sugar's imminent release came from an unlikely source, a podcast. Now let's take a moment to dive into this unexpected turn of events. We're talking about the Collect Call podcast, a platform that's been shaking up the hip-hop scene with its raw, uncensored content. At the helm of this groundbreaking podcast are Shuja Knight and Dave Mays. Shuj, a controversial figure in the hip-hop industry, and Dave, the founder of the iconic hip-hop magazine The Source, have created a platform where industry insiders can share their unfiltered thoughts and stories. This unique combination of hosts has made Collect Call a must-listen for fans who crave the real behind-the-scenes action of the hip-hop world. Now let's talk about the episode that has everyone buzzing, the one featuring the ever-witty and unpredictable Cat Williams. Known for his sharp tongue and unapologetic humour, Cat has never been one to shy away from speaking his mind, and this episode was no exception. I'm enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. Go out and get you some white friends. In what can only be described as a freestyle verbal takedown, Cat took aim at Ludacris, addressing a recent viral interview and accusing him of not acknowledging the truth. The accusations flew with references to the Illuminati and Ludacris's personal life. But it was the casual conversation between Kat and Sugar about their shared admiration for Tupac Shakur that caught everyone's attention. In the midst of this heated exchange, Sugar dropped a bombshell that he expects to be released from prison soon. This casual revelation left listeners in a state of disbelief. Could it really be that the infamous Sugar Knight is on the verge of freedom? 
This unexpected revelation on the Collect Call podcast has left the audience in disbelief. As we wait for official confirmation, fans and critics alike are left to speculate on what this could mean for the future of hip-hop. The hip-hop world has been buzzing with reactions to Suge Knight's expected release. The news, dropped by comedian Cat Williams on the Collect Call podcast, has sent shockwaves throughout the industry, stirring a myriad of emotions and responses. From the streets to the suites, the reaction has been palpable. Some artists are excited seeing Knight's release as a chance for the music mogul to reconnect with the industry and potentially revive the golden era of hip-hop. They reminisce about the heydays of Death Row Records, the iconic label co-founded by Knight, and wonder if he could bring back that magic. On the other hand, there are those who express caution. They remember the controversies associated with Knight and question whether his return might rekindle old feuds or spark new ones. They ponder on the potential implications his release might have on the current landscape of the genre. Then there are the fans. The hip-hop community is divided. Some are eager to see what Knight's return might mean for the music they love. They talk about it on social media, in rap forums, and in the comments of hip-hop news sites. Others express their reservations, echoing the concerns of some industry insiders about the potential for discord. And let's not forget about the critics. They're watching too. The cultural analysts, the music journalists, the podcasters. They're all weighing in on what Knight's release might mean for the industry. Some speculate on potential collaborations or business ventures Knight might undertake. Others delve into the legal and societal aspects of his release. But whether it's anticipation or apprehension, one thing is clear. Shuge Knight's impending release has certainly got the hip-hop world talking. The conversation is far from over, and as the day of his release draws closer, the spotlight on Knight and the reactions to his return will only intensify. With his release on the horizon, what does the future hold for Suge Knight? As the sun sets on Suge Knight's prison sentence, the dawn of a new era approaches. The infamous music mogul, once a towering figure in the hip-hop industry, now stands at the precipice of re-entering a world that has drastically changed since his incarceration. On a personal level, Suga's release will no doubt be a moment of redemption. After years behind bars, he'll finally have the chance to reconnect with family, friends, and perhaps even old adversaries. It's a poignant moment that signifies a second chance, a chance to rewrite the narrative that has been his life thus far. Professionally, the landscape of the music industry has drastically evolved since Suga's heyday. The era of physical albums has given way to the digital age, where streaming platforms reign supreme. This evolution poses an intriguing question. How will Suga Knight adapt to the new norms of the industry he once dominated? Moreover, Suga's release could potentially stir the hip-hop pot. His return might reignite old feuds or, conversely, mend broken relationships. There's a chance he could reclaim his place at the helm of a major label, or perhaps he'll choose a different path, focusing on mentoring the next generation of hip-hop talent. There's no denying that Suge Knight's release will send ripples through the industry. His past is etched in the annals of hip-hop history, and his future holds a certain mystique that has everyone on the edge of their seats. What's certain is that his release is more than just a personal victory for Suge. It's a moment that the hip-hop world has been waiting for, a moment that could potentially reshape the industry. The anticipation is palpable, the stakes are high, and the world is watching with bated breath. Only time will tell what Suge Knight's release will bring, but one thing is certain, the world will be watching. <laughs>